Hi, this is episode 40, and I just want to take this time to take a look at ChatGPT. I was actually thinking about uh, giving you a basic um, tutorial on how to write HTML and CSS for a responsive website. Um, but, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, I wonder how good ChatGPT would do for this. Obviously, ChatGPT is open source. You could use ChatGPT to get you started. So let's go ahead and uh, kick this off, and we'll go ahead and see how ChatGPT will write some code for you. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and see how ChatGPT does. Okay, so as you can see right now, um, I have a coding environment. This right here is VS Code. And I kind of set it up and I'm using this extension which is called Live Preview. And this allows me to preview changes as they're coming in live. I've got two tabs, one for index HTML and one sample CSS. And let's go ahead and go to ChatGPT and let's see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead and say, write me a Write me HTML and CSS responsive code for a news website with three articles with placeholder images that are as wide as the columns, the articles should be three columns for the desktop version and one column for mobile. Okay, what do you think about that? Um, pretty expressive, uh, natural language. Um, pretty much writing the way I'm talking to somebody and I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Let's see how it does. Here's an example of HTML, CSS code. All right. Okay, so it doesn't give me, it's interesting. And by the way, I've got this kind of HTML tab here, and this lets me kind of just get a start on grabbing some HTML if I need it. Okay, it's on article two. Looks like it's still thinking. Okay, interesting. Um, something interesting here, it is using CSS classes that look like it's from a framework. Okay, interesting. Okay, it's not a framework, but it is. And so it is using a 12 column grid, but it's not giving me all the code for managing grids. Okay, this uses Bootstrap classes, so you need to include the Bootstrap CSS library in your HTML file. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the code here. Let's go ahead and put it in here, okay? And let's go ahead and copy the CSS. Okay, sample, okay. Um, what should the Bootstrap CSS link look like. Let's see if it helps me out here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some basic HTML.
Okay. And it just told me to go ahead and grab this. Let's see if that works. Okay. And I also have my custom. Okay, interesting. So it looks like I'm just good with that bootstrap CSS. Okay. Well, let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say link REL equals style sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and um, link to a custom CSS. So this gives you an idea. This does give you a good starting place. And I'm going to go ahead and say sample.css. Okay. All right. So let's see where this gets us. Um, looks like it put it in a card that gave it a shadow. It's interesting. There's an image, could be a little bit more space. Okay, I mean, a couple of things that I think I would do, and this is a max width <coughs> right here of 992 pixels, and that makes it 100 width. So let's go ahead and test the responsive. Okay, that did a pretty good job. So maybe I would want to say dot card, put an H3 header, give it a little bit more space, margin, top is, uh, let's go ahead and give it 20 pixels. Okay, let's make all this code a little bit smaller. Let's say font size is 0.8 EM. It just kind of makes everything smaller. Let's go ahead and say font size 0.5 EM. Ooh, whoa, that's really small. 0.9 EM. I see 1.4, 1.5 EM. Okay, that looks pretty good. And let's see, you have this card. I mean, to me, it looks like it could use a little bit of padding. Okay, but overall, that's not bad. Um, You know, I think what I would do here is I would go ahead and uh, go ahead and create a class article content. So again, um, from what I'm gathering, you know, this code is, it's interesting. It, um, it definitely gives you a place to start from. Uh, let's go ahead and Oops, let's go ahead and take this div right here. Okay, now that I made that extra div, you know, I would want to say, um, you know, I forgot what I called that one, article content. Let's go ahead and say padding is uh, 10 pixels, okay? Okay, so what do you think? Um, not bad. 
Okay. Well, anyways, um, so that was it. That was the example. Wanted to see how good chat GPT um, uh, is right now. I don't think this is going to take you over any kind of front end coders um, job, but I do think it's interesting. It definitely gives you a good starting point. Um, I think it's interesting that it just out of nowhere decided to write for you bootstrap HTML and CSS. Um, if you kind of look at the code, I mean, it's it's clean. It kind of follows best practices. Um, it used placeholder copy. It was able to grab an open source. Um, it's called a placeholder. Uh, made it 400 by 200 pixels. Uh, it did make it responsive. So if I shrink it down to one column, that, go, that, that works. Um, so overall, I would say this is definitely a very useful tool. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is just really, I just feel like you're just chatting with me here in my office, my home office. Um, if you like this video, uh, please like it. And if you would like to leave a comment, that also helps the algorithms. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. My name is Ken, and uh, this is uh, episode number 40.